Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kowei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We are watching Werewolf by Night. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're seeing a cut-down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture-in-picture. Picture. However, if you want to watch the whole thing with us, uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash or become a member of this YouTube channel to watch the whole thing with us. No cuts or interruptions, but you'll need your own Disney Plus subscription so you can open up the movie in an adjacent window to our reaction, and it'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. If you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. The Bloodstone, a weapon unlike any other. This weapon is in want of a new master, for Ulysses Bloodstone has died. For a ceremonial hunt which will decide who next will wield the Bloodstone. And woe to the monster who finds itself among them. Are we to presume these are illegal artifacts? Dunno. You seem satisfied to emulate your mother. I did what I could with you. Shame I didn't turn out. Don't be too easy on yourself. You were the greatest disappointment of his life. That's heavy. Yeah. He was a leader. A friend. Lover without equal. Ew. Knowing his spirit would not be with us tonight to state his wishes for the ceremonial hunt, he orchestrated his presence in other ways. <laughs> I do hope my attendance delights you. Thank you, Verusa, for seeing it through. And for shaping our cause like no other. Oh my god, okay. The stone's finally up for grabs, and we all earn the right to hunt. But she gets to crash this thing like it's a backyard wedding. Why are they threatened by Those her? Those who do not survive. She's his daughter. Will so be honored. If, if she's not skilled, what the, what's there to be afraid of? Well, that there might be special treatment for Partial, her. Partiality? Yeah. I'd say the stone was in place. Off you go. Is going first an advantage or a disadvantage in this situation? It feels like Squid Game. Maybe you want to be like third. We spill all blood for the hunt. Stone and Creed. To rid this land of its abominations. There is no peace without blood, and so it shall be. That's creepy. Yeah. And so it shall be. But I'm just really curious about Gail Garcia Bernal's character because if he is the, I don't know, maybe I'll just shut up and just watch. <laughs> Oh, that is a cool reveal. I suggest we just pass each other by. Ah! Ooh! That's ah! That's Whoa! How is she alive? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Coming for you, Lassie. Okay, you just made a lot of noise, dude, and you I, lost a weapon. I like the touch with the cigarette burn. <laughs> yeah, no, they've been doing that throughout. It's really cool. The, that is a a mark back in the day of changing the film reels at the movie theater. Ooh! 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 I knew that was coming. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, gross. Oh, nice. You dead. Grab your weapons. <laughs> Naturally, they kill off the only Asian guy early. <laughs> <laughs> C 
cuddles. <laughs> Are they friends? These little things explode. So we're gonna explode our way out of here. All you have to do is don't lie. Don't. Just That's what I was wondering. I'm gonna figure out so where I was to like, put this. He's an abomination if he's a werewolf. What? Oh. If you're not a hunter, why do you want the stone? That's not the reason why I'm here. You know, maybe we can help each other. If you help me get the monster out of here alive, I can get you the stone. Have a quick chat with him, sort it out. You're what? The monster's friend? Yeah. Basically. <laughs> so you don't want to be like your father then? Careful. It must be complicated to grow up with his family. You have no idea about my family, none. But all families have something in common. They follow us. For good, for bad, they they stay like they become an atmosphere. And sometimes we think that by doing something very specific, we can change everything. Yeah, there must be a way out. What are you doing? When I was a kid, my dad used to tell me stories about my crazy Aunt Frances. Yeah, those buggies are crawling all over. Hi. Well, that's not bad. Oh, an exit strategy. Oh, cute. <laughs> I knew there had to be something in the tombs. When you run into him, just treat him like an old friend. Call him by his name. Which is Ted. <laughs> <laughs> How do you turn this on? Because I've, I've been trying. No. Whoopsie. Hey! Uh, no. <gasps> Ted, what's up? Ted? <laughs> Your friend is waiting for you. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Oh, God. How long does this thing... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. It's not sticking. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way. Quick! Off you go, Ted. Okay, get it! Oh, full power. How's he up? Oh, no. Oh, that, that's dead giveaway. He can't touch it. Because he's a werewolf. Oh no. Oh no. She better move quick. I can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are. None of you should have the stone. The hunt decides! Lucky she didn't fall on a rock. And the next full moon is in five days. We have plenty of time to figure something out. Five days. Bloodstone's capable of transforming you in five seconds. Thanks in advance for making it quick. Maybe those are all his friends. So if this is gonna happen, I need you to look at me. Do not break eye contact, no matter what. What are you talking about? What are you doing? I need to remember you. Well, does it work? Once. I'm gonna start convincing women I'm a, I'm a werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta remember you. It's just for your safety. <laughs> just kill me as I am. Otherwise there will be no mercy, I promise. I think they're gonna listen to him. I think they gotta do what he says. Ooh. Ah! I was wondering about that. I'm yeah. like, you're standing a little bit close. Hey, 
Hey, that's not fair. <laughs> oh, we oh, got out. Shit. shit. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. No? Yeah, just just leave, dude. No? Bye. This lady. You have to get it. No. She's intense. Oh! Let's kiss him. Eye contact, eye contact. Stroke his furry chest. Oh. Thanks, it was just that way. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna, gonna done it the whole time. Yeah. A disgrace to your father's memory! And the hallowed bloodstone Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. You hang out together. <laughs> he went that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. He brought his clothes for him. You are mistress. I only wanted to make myself available to you. Brilliant, you can stop clearing all this shit up. Oh, shoot. Is she okay? <laughs> no, I'm the one who comes to your rescue. What are you talking about? Whatever, no. Man, I, I can't think of food right now. <laughs> it's the sushi. I owe you that, yes. Yeah, you choose. <laughs> he said sushi? Yeah, I'm surprised his monster friend isn't a vegetarian, but that's okay. I love that, that was really fun. Yeah, it was really interesting, the choices that were made in making this. The, the yeah. thing that I think a lot of people are gonna talk about is the violence in it, because it's unexpected from Disney. And I know that we are waiting for that to happen, Yeah. you know, especially with Blade on the Horizon and the you know return of Daredevil there's this expectation of violence in these things. You know, my initial thought when I saw the preview for this was this could be the bridge to that sort of content that's gonna be on Disney+. Plus. I know that Daredevil's already there, appropriated from Netflix, but in terms of, of original content that is violent from Disney+, Plus for Disney+, yeah. Plus, I thought that this might be the first one to sort of you know, be the gateway into that. And it's interesting as well, because when you make the violence in black and white, it almost- It's more like, palatable. Yeah, it kind you of know. tones it down a little. Well, that's why in Kill Bill Volume 1, they, they changed the color during that action right. sequence. Otherwise it would have been NC-17. I thought that the, the decision to kind of model this after the old Hollywood horror flicks was yeah. really cool. Like, yeah, the old Universal Pictures. Yeah, because yeah. cause a werewolf, you know, is kind of there with vampires and stuff as those classic supernatural beings. And, and I love, like I, as someone borderline obsessed with the supernatural and occult, especially when it comes to like movies and, and media and stuff like that, I'm so happy that we have this in the MCU now. Mm -hmm. It's just so exciting and and it was just really it was just really fun. I like the style of it overall and I do like the homage to the old, you know, films like you said. And I thought it was cool the way they handled the violence in here because for me, the violence feels akin to stuff that we might see in Indiana Jones, but right. like turned up yes. a, a few notches. Because if you watch Indiana Jones, there's this kind of violence with like decapitations or limbs or whatever like that. And maybe a little bit of blood, but like there was like, a, you know, a parade of blood sometimes. It was yeah. like really interesting. I'm like, well, that is part of horror. I mean, that's sort of par for the course. It's just like, for me, having grown up with Disney 
And being an American, because Disney overseas doesn't mean the same thing. Disney over here in the States is like, oh, it's, you know, pristine and like, it's not violent. Except for like, the kill at the end of the movie. Like, running the ship into Ursula's stomach. Um, I mean, this is the MCU, though. I know that it's owned by Disney, but it's still Marvel. Like, right, has the has comics, violence. The comics have violence. Yeah. Um, but like, the, sh the movies and shows have been very careful walking that line. Whereas this is like, no, you're seeing blood. You're seeing what, for all intents and purposes, you're seeing gore, right? Yeah. And I think this is a good gateway. The thing that I have mixed feelings about, and maybe people will tell me why it's fine in the comments, but like, and I, and I get why they went this route. I said, I'll say that in advance. The thing I have mixed feelings about is just the look of him in his werewolf. While it owns the very classic look, because that's yes. what it's paying homage to. Yeah. 70 years removed, like that looks goofy. It's cool in one respect because it's paying homage. On the other hand, when you have the scene CGI monster that looks really good. And then you put, you pair it with this thing from 70 years ago, almost a century ago. Yeah, I noticed it as well, but I just got really wrapped up in what was happening. The reveal was cool. Yeah, I really the liked shadowing. the the shadowy yeah. thing that they did there. Like that was so much cooler than actually watching him like up close doing the reveal. Yeah. I, I thought that was just so exciting. And then just like slowly pushing in on her face as she's getting more and more terrified. And like, I thought they had really great use of all of that, like shadow and light and yeah. And, and flashing like that really cool fight scene where he was heading towards that one exit as it was coming down and the guards were coming in. Mm -hmm. I, I thought that was so awesome because it was like you could see it, but you kind of couldn't. And so it, I don't know. It, I just found it really, really entertaining and interesting. I was just so enthralled by the concept. Yeah. Like I think conceptually this uh, this special is just so cool. The decision to do it in black and white. No, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I think the concept and its execution is super cool. And yeah. like, the, like you just said, the black and white stuff, I think all of that is neat. It's just that when he was fighting, I wanted him to be, he's a monster. I wanted him to fight like a monster more. I don't know how much awareness he has. He says that this uh, werewolf side of him is like, it feels like more of a separate side of him that he tries to keep locked up. But who yeah. knows how much of the knowledge that he has of movement and fighting as a human informs the movement uh, as a werewolf. But That's I think you're excuse. right. I think you're right. It would have been cool to kind of have a very like animalistic yeah. werewolf style of movement for yeah. that. I, I remember hearing a remark from you like, all right, when uh, I, I paraphrase, I, you said something else, but she, she does a very Scarlett Johansson, yes. Black Widow kind of move. And I'm like, it's fine. It's it's fine. The whole thing is supposed to be a little bit campy, you know? Yeah, and I thought, um, I don't know the actress's name and I haven't got IMDb open in front of me, but I thought the actress that played her stepmom, she really leaned into the was... whole campiness yeah. of it all. Like, I was really enjoying how extra she was because I'm like... Oh, she's great, yeah. She got the memo. No, she owned it. Yeah, she knew what, what show she was in, she knew what movie she was in, and she was like, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm going to dial this up to 100, and, to and I loved her. You'll have to forgive me for not knowing all the specific names, but her hairstyle is very reminiscent of something. I, I, was, I wanted to say like Frankenstein's wife or something like that. Bride of Frankenstein, I thought I, I got a little bit of that with actually with Elsa's hair because she had like a little bit of a white stripe at the back of her head. But yeah, I think you're right. Maybe they were kind of going for a Bride of Frankenstein feel for uh, the stepmother because definitely the way that her dad looked when he popped out of the coffin, mm -hmm. I, I was kind of getting Frankenstein vibes. So it would definitely make sense to be like, oh, they're a pairing of like Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein, you know? They decided to use the song from Wizard of Oz at the very end. And it was interesting because they did it in the reverse. In Wizard of Oz, yes. it starts and ends in black and white and the majority of the film's in color. Uh, here, most of the film's black and white and then ends in color. And I, I guess that's to sort of bridge us into how this is connecting to our, you know, MCU yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I thought that was like a really nice callback in reverse, like you were saying. Yeah. And I also really enjoyed this whole thing about um, just kind of changing our expectation about the supernatural, mm -hmm. right? And I think that Disney and the MCU have been doing this a lot, especially with villains. I did enjoy that, the reveal, because I, I didn't say this while we were watching it because I thought like, oh, what if I say something wrong and then I, I'm being super dumb, but- You can't cut it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah, then it's recorded forever, right? Yeah. I was wondering, I was like, okay, so clearly, Gail Garcia Bernal is playing this werewolf character, right? He's the lead. 
What is a werewolf doing in the midst of these people who are clearly hunters of supernatural beings?、Mm-hmm. And I, I wasn't sure if you know he had become one of them somehow. Somehow it didn't cross my mind that he was infiltrating. Although thinking back on it now, I'm like that totally makes sense. All the kind of looks that he was giving to the、uh, stuffed. Creatures on the walls, right? Well, he seemed out of place from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, like they were obviously all his friends, and then and then the re- reveal of like, oh no, he knows the beast and he's trying to tame him. Like I like that, and then giving giving the creature like such a normal name like Ted. It's playing on that whole idea of like you know maybe these supernatural beings are they're just trying to live their life and they're just trying to. You know, just be normal, and meanwhile, it's almost like this this paradigm of oh, they're evil, so we must hunt and kill them all. And it's like, no, they're not. You know, and and I I enjoyed that. It wouldn't be MCU without there being jokes, and there were definitely jokes throughout this one. But I think that they did a fairly good job of being measured. And balancing it, yeah, it wasn't too much. It didn't distract too much. It was there just enough. Yeah, and sometimes it feels like that's just like you have. If you're not into that, you sort of just have to learn how to put up with it. Yeah, is the kind of thing. I thought it was fine. It, it gave me a chuckle here and there. I think that they could have taken out some more of the jokes because I'm sure a lot of this goes through passes, right? Yeah, and they're like, oh, you know, let's keep this, lose this, add this. I think I would have done one more pass on the hahas and just you know gotten rid of a couple. But I think in general it was sufficient. It, yeah, it, it didn't it didn't take away from the overall vibe. Yeah, like the, I I thought that tonally it, it was really great, and I, I thought that Gail Garcia Bernal did a, a really good job as Jack. I I love him anyway. He's definitely an actor that I pay attention to, and who every time I've watched him in something, I really, really like him. And I, I just like the balance of him just being like this kind of affable, really nice guy, and he's just trying to, you know, like like his friend, he's just trying to live his life and take care of this other part of him that he can't really control that comes out like every full moon, right? I just found him really likable. As、yeah. you know, the human counterpart of the werewolf. Yeah. The last thing I wanted to ask you about before we close this out is the marks on his face was、yeah. interesting because you know the Scottish hunter was like, oh, you know, I like the touch, you know, with the marks on your face. And the thought in my mind was maybe that's not stuff he actually put on. That's just part of his skin. The first thought I had was like, oh, that's interesting. He's kind of going for a Dia de los Muertos look, right? Like Day of the Dead. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's a great point. That is probably on. No. Yeah, and no. so and and then later on, he makes a remark about family and how we carry our families around with us like an atmosphere, which I thought was just like a really lovely. I think you're right. Of dialogue. No, I think you're right. That、uh, Day of the Dead. I, I, I'm pretty sure, unless someone corrects us in the comments, that seems to make a lot of sense. Well, yeah, that's what I was thinking, and then、yeah. especially having him talk about like. Oh, you know, we we carry our family around, and、mm-hmm. and like the Day of the Dead is about remembrance and paying respect、yeah. to you know your ancestors before you. I thought that was like a really nice concept, and I think that Marvel has been doing this a lot, where they're kind of I I don't know anything about you know Werewolf by Night, the actual character in the comics, right? But it seems like they're paying homage to Gael Garcia Bernal's Mexican heritage、yeah. by including that and making that part of the character, which、yeah. I think. I think is really nice. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say a lot of people that are watching this have not read the comic. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people who are into the MCU films haven't actually read the comics. Obviously, there's a huge chunk of people that have read the comics and watched the movies, but I'd, I'd say the vast majority of people watching the films and shows haven't read the comics. Yeah. So I wouldn't say there's shame in. That, no, but you know? like I just want to be upfront,、yeah. you know. All right. Well, anyways, I enjoyed this. Hopefully, you guys did too. Let us know your feelings in the comments below. If you read the comic, I would love to know. On that note, I, if you read the comic, I'd love to know how accurate this is to the comics. How much was added or changed, altered, and enhanced, or how much of it is、uh, not as good as the comic? Do let us know all your feelings in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out. Subscribe, bell icon, all notifications. Vote this up. And if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships, thanks so much for supporting us here. I'm Javi Kowei. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.